Hey guys, it's Bishel here, and welcome to episode 2 of my Ajax Dutch Players Only series. Of course, if you missed the first episode, this is a series where I'm going to be playing as the team Ajax, one of the best teams in Holland, but the stipulation is I will only be using Dutch players. So, pretty much, I have sold every single player that does not have Dutch nationality in pretty much all three teams. The only players I couldn't actually sell were the foreign players that were out on loan at different clubs because I can't actually bring them back for whatever reason. I did manage to um, terminate the loans of two players that were in the team um, that I had a... I didn't really have a problem with them because I was right with my thing that I did in the last episode. Um, I just needed to wait the two days until the transfer window opened. But anyway... Um, first of all, before we get into the fixtures, I want to run you over the squad. Um, and who we have left, basically. Uh, let me just fix that. Okay, so we still have our two goalkeepers. There was not a problem there. Uh, Sillison will be our first team goalkeeper. And as you can see, he's slightly unhappy. Simply because we sold some of our best young, um, young prospects. And um, they were foreign players. So yeah. He's a little bit upset. He's in the uh, national team squad. Probably the third best goalkeeper there behind Tim Krul. And... Um, I forget what his name is, but he was Swansea's old goalkeeper. I think he went to Tottenham, I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, Van Ryan, starting right back. I mean, nothing really changed there. I brought Reed Wald, yeah, Reed Wald up. Reedwald. Um, up from the... Um, Young Ajax team, which is the reserve squad. We've got Nick Veragiva, who is actually going to play left back until I bring in a replacement. I have been scouting so many Dutch players at the moment, it's quite ridiculous. But anyway, he'll play left back until I get, you know, a better player in. Uh, but obviously he's injured, so that's why we brought Riederwald up. Uh, Denswil, Veltman. I mean, I was pretty much going with that combination at the start anyway. So nothing really changed there. Vanderhorn's obviously another fairly decent centre back that we have. Um, I think Legion was in the squad. I'm not too sure if he was in the previous episode, but um, if not, he came from the reserves and he's quite decent as a right back as well. Um, decent going forward, good pace. I think I actually did mention him. Um, we've got our wingers, Garzi and um, Kishner. I um, also brought Becker up from the. Uh, Ajax team, Young Ajax, the reserve squad. I'll just refer to it as the reserve squad. Um, but anyway, he's half decent as a right winger, so a bit of backup for the wing there. Um, the other players I brought up were um, El Hasni. Hasn yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce that last name there. Um, El, we'll call it El Hasnui. Um, El Hasnui, um, fairly decent central midfielder, and can play AMC as well. Um, I was really lacking midfield options, to be honest, so brought him up. Duarte will be our roaming playmaker. I have decided to use my even flow tactic for the moment. I um, I just think it's the easiest with the players that I have at the moment, but I would like to use a different formation. I'm actually thinking of using a 5-3-2 a five, a five, maybe, I think it was. Yeah, a 5-3-2 with, you know, five at the back with three centre-backs, two win-backs. So, yeah, that could be interesting. Anyway, back to what I was saying. He's really decent, probably our best central midfielder at the, squ uh, at the club at the moment. Uh, we also brought up Sinan Keskin, who's another central midfielder. Um, again, just needed more midfielders and he's a bit of backup. It's also half-decent, to be fair, for a 19-year-old, so that's good. Um, Klassen will be our AMC. Um, we don't actually have another actual natural AMC that is of decent quality. We've got a few players in reserves, but no one that really matches any of these players' quality. And uh, the final player I brought up, I think, was uh, Sam Hendricks, who's a striker. Um, but I'm not too impressed with him, uh, even at 19 years old. Um, so I am trying to sign Luke, or Luke Castiagnos, so... Uh, a lot of people will be quite familiar with him. I actually signed him in FM 2011 when he was like 17 or something like that. Um, so that's pretty amazing. I'm trying to bring him in. Um, they want a lot for him, Twente, but um, he is probably one of the best young Dutch strikers apart from um, Zigovic. So 
Yeah. Not Zivkovic, sorry. Um, yeah, so... We'll bring him in, and we'll have two decent strikers in him and Zivkovic, so... Yeah, I think it'll be good. Anyway, moving on, that's the squad and how it looks at the moment. Um, it is quite poor, I have to admit. Um, if I get into the fixtures here, you'll see that we've actually been quite unimpressive. Won the first game against this team, I have no idea how to pronounce that, Vorwart Steyer. We beat them 6-0. Uh, Zivkovic got four goals, and Denzel got two, one being a penalty, so that was pretty straightforward, but, I mean, they're, they're a nothing team. We then went to our preseason tour of China, training tour, I don't know what it's called, but anyway. Beat Tianjin 3-1, Klaassen, Zivkovic and Kishner, and a Veltman own goal there. Uh, Shandong beat us, they actually have a half-decent team, to be honest. They got Wagner Love up front, uh, Zivkovic and Elgazi getting our only goals there. We did actually dominate them, so it was pretty disappointing, but as you can see, uh, Walter Montillo and Wagner Love, two very good players. And then we finally, we lost to one of our feeder clubs, Ajax CT, and that was 1-0 away from home in South Africa. So, as you can see, we absolutely played them off the park, destroyed them, but they had two shots in target, and they managed to score one goal. So, yeah, make of that what you will. But um, in this episode, we are going to do the Dutch Super Cup live com, as you can tell by the title of the video. So, um, yeah, we'll get into that, and I'll show you the starting lineup. And if you've never seen my even flow tactic, it's pretty much a standard, you know, 4-5-1 really, or 4-3-3, however you want to say it. I think of it as a 4-5-1, because I've got five, you know, midfield players, all in the same sort of position. Anyway, our starting lineup will be Sillison, uh, Van Ryan, Veltman, Denzel, and Riedewald. We've got Duarte and Keskin as our central midfielders, with Klaassen sitting behind, I'm um, in front, sorry. El Ghazi and Kishner will be our wingers today, and Zivkovic will be up front. We don't have a full bench at the moment. Um, I've decided against bringing too many players up from the reserve squad. Um, just for this game, I probably will definitely get a full bench for the league when it starts. I think it starts in one week's time. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that. Anyway, we've got Buar, Van Horn, Legion, um, El Hasni, Becker, and Hendricks. So yeah, we'll get into it now. And Keskin needs a number. Number 16, not bad. I will leave the highlights on key because I don't want this episode to go for too long. I would like to keep these about 10 to 15 minutes long. So we'll do that. Um, if you're interested, well, I just want to know what you guys actually think of the series. Um, it's something different. I've never really done this type of save before. I think I did it once, maybe, with FM13. Um, but it was an English-only um, players, so... And that was in the Premier League, and I think I did it with Arsenal. So it was quite easy. Um, and I think this will be a much bigger challenge, simply because there aren't that many re like really quality Dutch players at the moment. There are about maybe 10 or so, and I mean, half of those are probably over the age of 30. Players like um, you know, Van Persie, Robin, um, who else have we got? I mean, Dirk Kout's another player. I think he's 33 or 34, or something like that. Um, I, will, I was thinking about maybe bringing Ryan Babel back to the club. I think he played for Ajax, so... Um, and Klaassen, and oh, you almost scored there. Um, so, yeah, I've got a few options. I was looking at um, Eric Peters from Stoke as a left-back. Um, I was saying... Oh, sorry, I was trying to sign Jetro Williams. But, I mean, as soon as I started... Um, scouting him and, you know, being a little bit interested in him. Um, he signed a new five-year deal with uh, PSV, so that kind of threw a bit of a spanner in the works because I was actually wanting to sign him. Um, he was my left back that I was, you know, going after. So we've got Eric Peters. Um, yeah, I think um, I think we might just have to go with Peters. Um, I was looking at Bularoos as well, you know, the central defender. Um, he's currently, I think he's with Feyenoord, perhaps. Apologies if you heard my phone go off there, but um, that was a pretty disappointing first half. Oh, shit, that was bad. Um, okay, that was a really bad thing to say to them. And that really switched them all off. Shit, I wasn't really paying attention there. Um, so, yeah. 
Bullaroos could be a decent center half option. He's got a lot of experience. His stats are pretty crazy. And he's got 18 tackling, 18 marking. And he's still got half decent pace about him as well. Um, he's only 32, so he's not like ancient yet. Um, but yeah. And as well, have the ball here. Trent Sainsbury right there is actually a Australian national team player. So yeah. And um, he's quite decent. He actually played against Japan the other night when Australia versus Japan in a friendly. Uh, Nesed scores there as well. So not looking good. Thomas Nesed, I think he's a Czech player. Either Czech or Slovakian. Haha. Uh -huh. Get it? Uh, anyway. So yeah, uh, we are 1-0 down. That's really disappointing. I was hoping that we'll be playing a little bit better, but... I mean, it is still pretty early in the season. And obviously my team talk wouldn't have helped much. I actually look a bit like a... a new manager, but... Anyway. And we are under the pump again. Oh, and Nessed scores a brace. Wow. Okay, well, things are not looking good at all for us, so we're going to bring Zukovic off. Um, what else can we do? We can bring... Uh, I don't know. We'll bring El Hasni on for Keskin, I suppose. And we'll bring Van Horn on for Denzel. Anyway, we'll do that. Triple, ch triple change, you know. We'll get some of the poor performers off the field. I don't expect us to come back, um, even for a two-all draw, take it to extra time. I don't really think that's viable. Um, we've only got ten minutes left, so... Yeah, I mean, the players aren't, you know, familiar with the tactic. We only played four friendly games, um, and I think this is obviously a reflection of that. Um, I haven't really been um, putting it on team, the uh, team training on team cohesion either. I think that plays a big part, especially at the start of a season. So yeah, pretty much full time right here now. There we go. So yeah, all in all, pretty disappointing, I have to say. Um, the team aren't liking me very much. Oh, really? Really? Come on, we dominate them, two shots on target, and they score two goals off both of them. Typical results on this year's Football Manager I'm seeing, especially with my Everton series, Concedes so many goals to like one or two shots in target. Um, and I do rant about it quite a bit. So yeah. Anyways, that's going to finish this episode up. Um, hopefully we will have better results leading up to the next episode, which will be a Champions League Livecom plus a fixture review. And um, I will go over all the transfers that I've made. Um, I know I didn't do it in this episode. And I know you guys will probably be wanting to see that this episode. But yeah. Um, I'm going to leave that for the next one, simply because um, I haven't actually brought any players in yet, um, and I have let all the players go, so um, it wouldn't be too interesting. Um, so yeah, I think we'll leave that for the next episode. So drop a like, guys. I know I didn't win, but um, it's only the first real competitive game of the series, and we are in... I don't, I'm not going to say shambles at the moment, but we need to sign a few players, definitely. So yeah, drop a like. If you're new to my channel, to my videos, please head over to my channel and subscribe or click the subscribe button down below. And uh, yeah, drop a comment. Maybe recommend me some Dutch players. I really don't know all that many, you know, decent Dutch players, especially from the Dutch league. I mean, I know a few players, you know, playing in the Premiership. And there's a couple in Par uh, in France. Uh, Van der Weel, tried to sign him. He signed with Tottenham, so... Yeah, that went out the window as well. Anyway, rambling on now. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.